Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. As you noticed last time, we got kind of carried away over at Fireman Joe's place, but uh, when stories like that present themselves, you gotta take advantage of them. So we really need to show you guys what we scored over there, so let's show you what we got here. This is what we picked up over at Fireman Joe's. We got some really amazing CNC hubs with rotors on them. And they're very nice, very, very high quality. We got some really cool CNC brakes see we picked up some really amazing a full set of Marvin Shaw shocks so those are very nice and they're in really good shape and they're still under pressure so we'll be able to use those we picked up a complete spare rack and rack and pinion steering which happens to be the same model that I have on mine already so that makes an awesome backup we got an oil cooler which is kind of cool it's got some fans on it already and then we have these trailing arms that are all chromed out I think these are the exact same trailing arms we have on, on our rail right now. So we'll have a really nice set of spares. If these are a little better, we may end up using these instead of the ones I have on there. And then of course we got some CV boots. So we'll start putting all the stuff together. We got our transaxle installed. I should say mocked up. It's not really installed because we have to switch these tubes around because this is in backwards for the mid engine. But we have it all mocked up so we can start taking measurements. Right now, a lot of you guys suggested that we do a Corvair engine. That's actually on the table right now. So I'm trying to decide between a Corvair engine and a Volkswagen engine. I haven't made up my mind yet. Actually, I haven't found an engine yet. Is why I haven't made up my mind. So whatever presents itself first, you guys will have to let me know which you prefer. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take this all back apart. I need, really need to work on the electrical wiring. Make sure all the wiring is done, ready to go. I was kind of disappointed when I did my, uh, this is supposed to be a, a lighted whip. And when I pulled it out, as you can see, there's no wiring on it. Someone's cut the wiring. So we have to rewire the chassis, which is kind of a bummer. So I knew that as soon as I loosened that and felt that, I'm like, there's no wire on that. So whatever, we'll have to rewire it anyway. So we're going to go ahead and move forward on the wiring. After, and basically, we'll do the steering wheel as well. I already started on the steering wheel. I got kind of in a hurry. You can see where we went ahead and cut this. I moved this up to here. And uh, it's a lot of hacksawing. I'm not, I'm not uh, comfortable enough with the plasma cutter or the cutoff saw, the cutoff wheel, to just go to town on this. I want to kind of preserve as much of this as I can with the least amount of cleanup work as possible. So I just hacksawed it. and. Uh, so we're gonna mount this up here so I have more leg room down here because I'm bigger than the guys were in the 80s and 90s when they built these, so I need more leg room. <laughs> All right. All right, we're mocking up the steering here. <laughs> okay. I may leave this off center a little bit because it's a lot more leg room. But uh, speaking of leg room, my, uh, my legs are a lot longer than the poor guy who owned this before me. I'm gonna have to move the pedals forward as much as I can, I think. I think I would like to have them probably that far. Was that three or four inches? So if I move the pedals three or four inches forward, that'll be a lot more comfortable where I'm at now. So that shouldn't be a big deal, but it's just more process. And then with the steering over top, I have a lot more leg room. I'm very comfortable steering here, so it should be good to go. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna put this off center, I think, because there just seems to be a lot more room. And uh, I don't think there's a downside to it, but let me know, maybe I'm not thinking of something. <laughs> That's what I thought about actually. I thought I thought about putting it off center. That's uh, well. Yeah, that's just you. Just need to V that out and weld it right there. Yeah, right. Why aren't you done? What's taking so long? <laughs> I came over here to see this thing. We'll make a tail telescope. We'll there you on. go. Click, 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 click. It's Cadillac. Tail telescope. Um. 
how yeah you see what i mean right there that's the oh, same yeah, yeah. that's a knee knocker yeah that's, i that's... figure if i move this three inches that'll make all the difference yeah this here thing needs to go yep. down yep that's um, what i was thinking too the uh you found some uh fire looks like yeah i caught on fire <laughs> it's flammable <laughs> these, these pantaloonuses are flammable and i'm so mad because my best pair i'm like i'm gonna wear them out yeah, that's right um so yeah. yeah those are adjustable too you can adjust those forward okay but yeah you're gonna have to redrill. yeah i just i mean if i just move them forward all the math and push this forward all the math well works. so there's a couple things you undo them and you just put them in the next set of holes yeah how far is that four inches yeah and then redrill some other holes out there right then these are adjustable to come back at you oh See what cool I mean? yeah so that's got the heim joint there yeah because right now they're kind of up. Yeah, they're very forward, side. right? Yeah, and they will rock back and get lower. This okay. one, it's a different story. Yeah. I, this one's... Yeah, I'm going to have to weld a plate in for that it, one. It don't matter. We can do all that when you do your uh, rigging for your carburetor. Because right. we're going from different to different. And this, this sucks. This is, I know. This, this needs it's to all going to change. Right yeah, here. I was going to say, we're going to change all that anyway. Move that dash and take The dash that, is gone. All put that's that gone. Jmar box right here. Okay. And just. Yep. <laughs> you're not going to put turn brakes in it, right? Nope. Yeah. So get your knee relieved there. Yep. That way you're not knocking your knees. So right. Not like that. Yep. And then uh, your brake pedal kind of a reach for that. So right. it's good. And then it's kind of nice when you can sweep your right your pedals together they got the gas pedal in a weird spot yeah they do i was gonna say it's it's the so rest of it's okay this isn't bad no it's not bad but i figure if i can if i can slide forward and go down a little bit my head will be yeah. all right but yeah this is definitely huge there just v that out yeah yeah i like it jealous well good news my buggy started and it runs did it really and the second motor that i was working on yeah it starts and runs. Holy has cow. Pressure. Oh, wow. So, all right. So, we're two for? Yeah. I got, what, two more to put together? No, three more to put together. <laughs> and then I'm picking two more up tomorrow. So, that'll make a total of six, seven motors. Holy cow. That are VW. Okay. Besides the, the big Corvair. One. Oh, the monster. Right. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm about as close as you are to the sand dunes. Right. Like I could go and cook hot dogs on a grill, but <laughs> we're not going in the dunes. Right. Well, if you got an engine started, you're way farther ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it well. My Bluetooth engine is not quite ready yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put a cage right here. Right. And put a squirrel on it. There you go. That's all a Volkswagen is anyway, is a squirrel in a <laughs> yeah, cage. Right. Yeah, the wiring's gone out of this. I think the, this is. I think this here is this one here. Maybe. Yeah. Well, commonly these the tubing's sharp and it cuts into them. Yeah. So it's hard to. Oh yeah. Prevent these from shorting. Okay, well, that's all right. I'll just I'll just rewire it. Pull some new wires. Yep. So much for a thousand dollar car, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Just. Yep. Start adding money. Modify. You sure this ain't a boat yeah. or a Jeep? <laughs> Break, it's, all, it's always a thousand dollars yeah. away from being done. That's right. Break out another thousand. Yep. My thoughts exactly. Yeah. So when you uh, when you loosen these up, these can rock back further. Right. They're more comfortable when they rock back too. They work better. Okay. Because then your hoof isn't hitting here when it hinges over. Okay. <clears throat> so if you move that to that hole. Right. Without drilling. Right. Then you can rock these back and try it. Okay. Because these come back quick when you adjust that. Yeah, they'll there's move, a lot of leverage. They'll move a long ways and then just take that off for now. Right. You may or may not even put that on. But yeah. <clears throat> you kidding me? That's cool. Oh, well, they're kind of nice. But I mean, it'll slide, it'll slide forward six inches. It'll be good to go. Yeah, but as it goes forward, it goes down and you'll have your... Oh, uh, it'll be in the way. But honestly, you probably take this little plate off here and yeah. just use this portion because this is going to get tight, right? Okay. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying now. Or machine it out and put it up here, but right. I don't know. You'll see. Okay. But yeah, this, as this rocks back, it'll... Right. All right. It'll, it'll come together and work. I they set this thing up for like... Five foot four. Yeah. I know. I thought the same thing. I'm like, you know. 
as long as you ain't hitting your head on the bar. Right. You can always pad these too. It doesn't hurt. Right. I probably will. Yeah, that way you don't bounce up out and bump your noodle. Oh, yeah. Just makes it a little more comfy. But, yeah, it's not bad. The, uh, yeah, no, the seats are good. Yeah, they'll be, I mean, I was sitting on the seat seats too. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Put the key cover in. Yeah, so you're just going to hook your steering back up. So oh, yeah. On top yeah. there, slide yep. that into position. Just yep. weld around tick, that. Tick, tick, tight. Yep. Clean that off. Put it over here. Oh, move it over a little. Just a just a little. Like one inch be one inch gives me a lot of room over here. You put it at a little angle, you know. Yeah, I thought of that that's a good idea too. It's all a good idea. Angle is the dangly. Yeah. Yep. I like it all. Yeah, it doesn't you know yep. it's, it's your budget. We got you options, can, you yep. Can do whatever you want. You'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah, this thing was goofy, so I made it not goofy. That's right. But yeah, if you V that out right there so that yep. sits down on there, yep. Tack it, make sure it's right, weld it. Oh yeah. I like it. I likes it. But yeah, it's I likes it. It's all good. Yes, sir. It's all go fast. I don't care about fast, I just want it to go. Then you could put a disconnect on that too and have you a disconnectable steering wheel, which makes it even easier to get in and out. But yeah, but then, then it gets stolen. It's glamorous. It'll get stolen in five minutes. Well, Take it with you. You gotta carry it. I get I get a belt loop. I yeah. get me a little Remember? belt loop walking around. We used to carry around our uh, <laughs> our uh, stereos. Yeah. What do you got there? Eight times over sampling, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. The whole radio it's came. Four skips. That's right. That's right. That's yeah, right. Oh my goodness. Pull out radios. That's right. I remember that before before they figured out the removable dash. Well, I guess technically you just make that pan a quick release. Yep. And then you do. Oh, there you go. I like that. There you go. You're gone, Perfect. Right? Yeah. That thing has greasable bearings in it. It does, and they've never been greased. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're dry. Yes, they are. Dry. That'll need, some, that'll need some lube. Yes. Cool. All right. That's for dinner. I don't know, but I'm hungry. It's wings. Pizza. And wings. All right, guys. We're going to move the pedals forward several inches. Um, and see if we can move these pedals, like adjust the pedals back and forth a little bit to see if we can make it more comfortable to sit in. Would you look at that? That is cool. I like it. I could actually leave that accelerator pedal there. Because this is going to be gone. The fact that the pedal's not in the way anymore. That's awesome. All right. Next. Okay guys, we showed you what all the parts we got from Joe, and then we showed you the foot pedals, and we showed you the steering, how it was gonna work out. And then Merlin came over and gave us some feedback, liked the direction we were going, and then we were able to get the pedals moved forward about six inches. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year. Yeah.